Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will see web service security in web methods. So in this video, we will cover username token security. So earlier we have seen that to access our web service, we had to pass our server credential as a basic authentication where credentials are carried over the HTTP transport headers. So I'll show you here you can see that in HTTP logs and here you can see that authorization basics. So it is going uh, so the credential are obviously yes uh, it's encoded but it is going via http transport headers so to avoid this so we will use web service security in which security information is carried inside the header portion of the soap envelope so we will see in this video how we can do that so i have already created a policy file in the standard web service security policies if you want detailed video on web service security Please do let me know in the comment section. This policy file is a set of security assertions that describe the security options to be used. So here you can see that username token that we are going to use, which is described here. We will check demo web service descriptor whether the username token policy is present or not. So here you can see that username token policy is not present. Now we will see how we can apply username token policy. First we have to kill the server and then copy our username token policy to WSS policies folder so this is the path integration server instances default config WSS policies and paste here now let's wait for some time I mean one or two second and then refresh uh, so here one thing if there is any issue with your policy then integration server will automatically create an invalid folder and put your policy into it so if it does not that means you are good to go now let's start our server now server has started and here we can verify by refreshing no invalid folder is created so that means everything is good now we can go to our designer and we can check here in our previously created web service descriptor go to your go to policies and here we can click on this attach policy and here we can see that username token is available now click on this and save our web service descriptor now let's copy the WSDL URL again. Go to SOAP UI and let's delete our previously created project. Now click on SOAP, paste here, and OK. Now let's create the request. Go to the request properties and here we have to select no no authorization and we have to provide username here as creator and password and WSS password type we have to keep it as password text now run our service so here we can see our output but here the interesting thing is in soap header we can see that credentials are passing in our soap header and here you can see that username token administrator and password this so this way we can send our credentials in soap header and this way we can implement username token security policy in web service in web method so i hope you got the point and if you have any doubt or query then please do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you